I said that. So you had 14 in the first half, and we didn't take any shots in the, in the second half. It looked like you were were you trying to like, create other guys or. or um, I, t I like taking the correct shots, the right shots, and I love getting my teammates involved. I love playing the game the right way because uh, it's contagious, playing the game the right way offensively, defensively, when that ball is moving. That, the ball, I feel like the ball has the mind of its own. Like, it's going – if you just let it flow, it's going to go on the rim itself, and, we, and that's how I like playing. Yeah, I think you're nine of thirteen on your on threes. You say you've been working hard at it. Do you do you see yourself as as a, a premier shooter maybe someday in this league? Um, I see myself as a as a premier shooter in this league. Uh, in the future, uh, who knows? Just keep working. Let's see how it goes. Also, whenever I see you around the Moda Center or even on these zooms, you're always happy and despite whatever's going on with the team. How do you maintain such a High end uh, happiness despite all the losing recently. Um, just find the positives from every game. See what we do good, and keep building on that. And then we'll just go over the uh, negatives on film, and we'll correct them. But just keep building on positives. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, game recently, you talked about you felt like one of the things was building both was there's no kind of mentality to bring every single day. Bring the same kind of approach. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that's easier when you're starting and you're playing a lot of minutes, or is that something where it shouldn't even matter if you're playing as much? Or kind of how do you how do you view the way that you've done that recently, considering that you're getting older? Um, I feel like that's I've always been that type of person, always been that type of player. If I'm sitting on the bench, if I'm starting, I'm still the guy with the most energy, hyping my teammates up because even if I'm starting, there's somebody on the bench just like me doing it. So I always remember that. I always remember just being in that place. And and just working to get in the lineup. It's fortunate I'm in the lineup now, but just having that energy, even when I wasn't playing, it kind of carried over. And so yeah, just I just have that energy all the time because I'm just an energetic person. Because it seems like it, if you're not playing consistently, like the, it must be harder to maybe bring that same mentality or energy. But it maybe something like you kind of feel that. Yeah, I guess that is something the baseline allows you to mm -hmm. do it no matter where you're at. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it, it does get kind of challenging, uh, especially in the beginning of the season where I had to sit the whole game when it gets to halftime. Uh, that's especially when it got hard, the third and fourth corner watching them play. But that's the time I really, like, locked in and tried to learn and tried to and tried to see what they're doing out there so I can be out there and I can replicate those those same reps and do what they're doing at a high level. And the only way you can do that is be positive, lock in, and trust what everybody is doing.